I said don't do anything. <laughs> Kick his butt. Ooh. Uppercut. Oh, if you're ever in that situation, you get an uppercut right away. Now. I'm not uh, good at these I, mean, I think it was Jared's character. So Got to go with the uppercut. Nate, why, why didn't you uppercut? Oh, it's because you're not used to the arcade controls. Okay. There you go. I blocked. Baraka. You can't block an uppercut. Uh, Baraka wins. It looks just like you too, Jared. <laughs> Alright, Bobby's making a comeback here with the leg sweep. Sweep the leg. Hey guys, welcome back to Peterson Family Adventures. Today, we are celebrating a birthday. But, um, I forget. Whose birthday is it? Is it yours? No, Jared's. Jared's? Oh, there you are. How old are you today, Jared? Ten. Ten years old. Do you feel bigger? Feel stronger? Feel older? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so today, in celebration of Jared's birthday, we're actually go actually going to be going to a place called Starcade in the local mall. It's a it's a pretty cool place. It's a retro arcade. So if you're into retro gaming, uh, arcade, pinball, they have all sorts of games there. They have old Sega games. They have um, old Nintendo games, and even old arcade games that never got ported. Uh, into consoles. Uh, what's your favorite game? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat? Good choice. Solid choice. What about yours? Fortnite. Fortnite! They do actually have Fortnite there. Why you would go to the arcade to play Fortnite, I don't know. You could just play Fortnite here, you know? Yeah, but we're going to our in an arcade and I want to play Fortnite. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll play some other games as well. Yeah. Uh, and who's your friend here? Gobbles Jr. Gobbles Jr. He looks delicious, by the way. Mm. It's a paper bag inside of a paper bag. Oh, so it's, it's dark meat? No! <laughs> Can't wait to dig into that turkey later on this month. But yeah, today we're going to Starcade uh, for Jared's birthday. Later on, we might have a little bit of a gathering, uh, a little bit of a celebration, maybe some cake, maybe some presents if you're lucky. I haven't seen any around though, so don't get your hopes up too much. <laughs> Watch out for cars in the parking lot, guys. I didn't even notice that. He, he didn't even have any ears, so they taped it on him. I didn't even notice that. That's funny. All right, so we are here at Starcade, and uh, there's just so many games to choose from. Um, some that I'm familiar with, and some that I'm not too familiar with. I actually did not get a ticket for myself, um, just because I didn't feel like paying the money. It's ten dollars a person for an hour a person, so. You know, 30 bucks for the three boys. Um, and I'd rather them just play, you know, and I'm just going to walk around and take a look at different things. And, um, we'll watch them play some of the games. Uh, but, yeah, we're here, and there's just lots of cool pinball games and arcade games, like I said. So we're going to take a look. This game is from 1991, if you can make that out. 91. It's awesome. Operation Thunderbolt. I'm not familiar. This, this is one of those games I'm not really that familiar with, or familiar with at all. It looks pretty cool. As you might imagine, I'm not really a gamer. Obviously, my boys are. Uh, they're into gaming, uh, retro gaming, and modern gaming. Uh, but for me, I, I honestly don't have the skills or the attention span or the time, obviously. I can't believe you're playing Fortnite. This kid owns a PS4, FYI.
now we're playing Time Crisis 2. Uh, definitely heard of the Time Crisis series. I don't think I've ever played it myself. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't go so well. Alright, we're gonna go see what Bobby's up to. Oh, uh, now this is a good game. Are you winning, son? Uh-huh. I guess you can say that. <laughs> I like how they just blow up. Like once you kill them, they just blow up. That would be awesome. I know. In real life, you just like punch somebody and they blow up. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe, they, I guess they're like robots or something. That's why they're blowing up. Yeah. I love beat em up games. Yeah. That's, see, that's my style of game, the beat em up game, like Streets of Rage. Yeah, this is like Streets of Rage. Like, you, like, you don't have to really oh, think no. about it. Alright, so we are here, um, and we're right at the beginning of kind of one of their pinball rows here, and I just love, I mean, just the artwork alone on some of these pinball machines. Uh, they're just nice to look at. They're just works of art, in my opinion. I don't mean just the paintings, just the pictures, I mean the whole thing. A, pin, a good pinball machine is, is just a, a work of art. Medieval Madness. Twilight Zone. I think I've played this one before. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Pretty. Adam's Family. Theater of Magic. Avengers. Hopefully a new one. Yeah, these are some newer ones here. Iron Man and Spider Man. Uh, we have been here during, I wasn't playing during the tournament, but we have been here during um, a tournament, pinball tournaments, they do host them here. So if you're into pinball tournaments, look up Starcade in the Hamilton Mall in New Jersey, Maze Landing. Classic arcade game here, Street Fighter 2. This is a fun game if you've ever played it. Silent Scope. X-Men Pinball, Jurassic Park, Got some movie themed ones. They, they have gotten more pinball machines since the last time we've been here, I'm pretty sure. Definitely seem to have gotten more um, cabinets and uh, pinball machines. Metallica. Tales from the Crypt. Popeye. Spy Hunter. Gottlieb's Dragon. I don't even know what that is. Yikes. Lost World. Paragon. Yeah, see, these, these are some rather obscure ones here, at least as far as I'm concerned. Got some racing games. Need for Speed, California Speed. I know it might be hard to see some of these with the lights. Cruising World, Off-Road Challenge, Ridge Racer 2. Let's get some gameplay here. Oh. I got through there though. Oh, I got through there though. Oh, it's even playing the soundtrack. That's awesome. I'm sure your reflexes are better than mine. Ooh, nice. That was a close one. Yeah! Oh, she will. Watch out, it's gonna come shooting out, probably. Oh, she lob, yeah. Yikes! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That was a good catch. That was good. Yeah, what? I don't know. Ask, ask Jared, but I mean, ask Evan, but you're not supposed to be playing PS4 here. You're supposed to be playing one of these games. I mean, we didn't come all the way here to play PS4. I'm sure you recognize some of these. Uh, we have this one on the Wii um, Virtual Console that we downloaded. Qbert. These are some old school ones here. Burger Time. Killer Instinct. And Killer Instinct 2. So, me personally, I'm not really a gamer at all. Um, I really like uh, retro gaming. I like the aesthetic of it. Um, you know, the games are fun. Um, I'm not somebody that really plays a lot just because I don't have the time. Um, and especially when it comes to a lot of modern gaming for the PlayStation and for the uh, Xbox and, and for PC. A lot of those games are great because they're super involved. There's just so much that goes into them. Um, you know, it, usually they require hours and hours of gameplay to get good or to, um, or to defeat the game, beat the game. Uh, for me, obviously, I, don't, I just don't have that kind of time to put into gaming. Um, I don't really have the attention span either. <laughs> and the other thing is, a lot of these games, I think they're great because, uh, talking about modern games, I think they're great because they teach you resource management and things like that. Um, but, for me, it's too much like real life as an adult. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really want to have to worry about uh, resource management in games because I have to worry about that in real life, you know? Uh, so for me, when I sit down to a game, I want to sit down to a nice simple, uh, you know, side scroller or a nice simple beat em up game like Streets of Rage or X Men because I just want to be able to relax, you know? I don't want a game to be too much like real life. Um, but uh, I know there's a lot of adults that still love the game. For me, like I said, I don't need that added stress. <laughs> Evan's going to try his hand at Lethal Weapon Pinball. Oh, Lethal Weapon 3, excuse me. Oh, that was quick. All right, let's give it a second shot. Got to be, jeez. Yeah, there's not, not really much you could do about that. Uh, 
Yeah, if any of you out there are old enough to remember the old uh, Windows pinball that uh, you know we always played in school when you didn't have access to the internet, uh, you know, one of those games that was right in there with Minesweeper. I was pretty good at that. Uh, who knows about this though? I see DC. Are you getting better? Yep, I got three balls. Oh, good. I got three balls, so one, one back here, one run in the middle, and then the other one one back here. Oh, uh, okay. Joust. Uh, I've never even heard of this game before. I wonder if they show us any of the gameplay. Oh. Ah. That's weird. Prepare to joust. Buzzard bait. How do you... It says flat. How do you... Oh, okay. Flap. And then there's the controller. I, I've never even heard of this game before. You're jousting on ostriches. It, it's a lot like if you played Super Mario 3, where they have those little combat levels, um, where you can fight each other. Um, oh, I, I just... See, I don't know how you actually hit the guy. But it, you're, you're jousting on an ostrich. I wonder... I have no idea how to play this game. There's just a flat button. And, uh, you know, controller here to steer. So, I, I really don't know how... I, I bumped into the other players several times, but... They always seem to get the best of me here, so I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'll get an egg. I just got an egg. So, I've never even heard of this game. Have you heard of Joust? Uh, let us know in the comments. All right, we're back at X-Men, and Jared and Bobby are playing together here. Who are you, Jared? I'm Nightcrawler. Who? It's my Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler? Here's <laughs> Evan, still working on Lethal Weapon 3. I got, I got three again. You got three balls? Uh -huh. Nice. I don't know what that means, but... Still working on it. Hasn't given up. Getting better every time, I assume. Good job. Oh, 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 that was a close one. Woo! <laughs> Kick his butt. Ooh. Uppercut. Oh, you're ever in that situation? Get up, cut right away. Now! Uh, I, mean, I think it was Jared's cut. Gotta go with the uppercut. Hey, why, why didn't you uppercut? Oh, it's because you're not used to the arcade controls. Oh, yeah. There you go. Baraka, you can't block an uppercut. Baraka wins. It looks just like you too, Jared. Alright, Bobby's making a comeback here with the leg sweep. Sweep the leg. I think you're just letting the birthday boy win here, that's what you're doing. That was nice of you, Bobby, to let the birthday boy win. Or not, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh! Too bad you don't know any, uh, any finishers for the arcade. Bobby just got his butt kicked in Mortal Kombat. But I think he did it on purpose to let Jared win for his birthday. Yeah, that's it. You're just not used to it. This is a pinball machine. So a lot of the work apparently that goes into this place uh, is refurbishing a lot of the games as you can imagine. Uh, some of these games are pretty old and require a lot of upkeep. Uh, and I was just informed by some of the employees that work here and um, I guess the family that owns it 
that they are replacing some of the lights and uh, so that it doesn't overheat and a number of other things but you can see all the work that goes into that um, a lot of upkeep but pretty awesome pretty cool so I paid for an hour and they used up at least a half an hour on the retro games and the pinball but now you can see they're all stuck in front of what is it a PS4 yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, we could do this at home. I guess we couldn't all three of them do it at home. I only have, we only have two controllers, so maybe that's how I'll justify it. Is this a new map? What? Uh, I've never seen this map before, but I haven't watched you guys play Fortnite in forever, so it looks newer to me. I don't think I've watched you guys play Fortnite since you guys since you were on that island or whatever. Shows how much I know about Fortnite. It's probably always on an island, right? Is Fortnite always on an island? Yeah. That's okay. Created or something. Else in the so what? What is this? This is like. This is zombie. Like, and that's different. Yeah, you have to survive. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're all on the same team and yeah. you're trying to survive the zombies. Yeah. See, I didn't even know they had that. How long have they had that? Uh, they had Halloween. Since Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Before that. Time. Before. That, yeah, it shows how much I know. So we're going to go to another one of their favorite stores, um, Level Up Entertainment. Uh, and it is mostly a comic book store. Uh, they have action figures and collectibles as well. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty awesome store for uh, a kid to go into and even a lot of adults to go into. Um, but this mall, the Hamilton Mall, it's just a shame because as you look around, this is the way most of the mall is. Empty store, 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 empty store. Sheesh. A lot different than uh, from when I was growing up. Pretzel, and now we're gonna head out. You got your pretzel? Nice. Well, did you have fun? Awesome. All right, we're gonna head home. Gonna munch some pretzels and try out his new game. Let's go. Laser sword, dual laser sword. Yeah, they have the little couplers there, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Don't break the lights, the fan lights. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It 
Thanks, girl. Whoa. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Oh, and thanks. The cards on the floor. You're sitting on Star Wars. Yeah. I wanted to do a Raleigh to Grandma. Can you do a Raleigh to Grandma? Oh, ho, ho. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into our latest adventure. Feel free to wish Jared a happy birthday down in the comments. I'm sure he would appreciate that. I will definitely show that to him. Um, if you are interested in Starcade, if you're into retro gaming, arcade gaming, um, you know, just having that feeling of throwback and being able to go and play pinball, if you're a pinball tournament person uh, or you're interested in getting into that, I will definitely throw some links uh, down in the description. Uh, that will lead you to uh, Starcade social media and all the things that they do. If you're a local business and you want us to come out and uh, you know see what you have to offer and feature your stuff on our channel, uh, I will put our contact information, my email, down in the bottom as well. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.